What's up, guys? Ice Boy here. So, this is my Sork. She's a fire Sork. She ain't just any Sork, however. Her name is Ice Bunny. This is Path... No, this is Project Diablo 2. Okay, this is PD2. And a lot of shit has been re-wiked in Project Diablo 2. For instance, Tarnhelm now gives mana per kill. Check that shit out. I found this with my Barbarian. It's Absolute Toad. And this one has a very fine MF roll. And with this little famine, I've been walking, all right? As you guys know, I like to take the narrow fucking path, okay? I ain't looking to get rushed. I ain't fixing to just get all the fucking GG items tossed over to my character. Yes, I took a few handouts, this ladder, okay? A couple fucking items. Who gives a toad? I ain't fixing to get nothing else handout, all right? Y'all heard it here right now, this day. I ain't taking shit no more, all right? All right what did I even take, man? I don't even remember what I took. Just some little piece of toad, really. No, nothing, certainly nothing, GG. I ain't, I ain't trying to dismiss them handouts, all right? I ain't trying to, to down talk them gifts. But I ain't got nothing, GG. I should see my druid. All right, I took a, I took a summon GC. I took that as a handout, all right? If you want to bitch about that, do such in the comments below, but make sure you give a little tippy tippy. I just think it's best for you guys if you're gonna bitch and whine and complain and accuse. The least you could do for yourself is send a little tippy tippy in Iceman's tippy tippy jar. All right, it's it's good for you. It's not for me. So just give me a fucking tip if you're gonna talk shit in the comments below. Or become a patron if you want. Thank you to my patrons. May the Creator bless you and keep you, sir. Uh, with this Tarnhelm, I walked, all right? I walked, one, two, three, here I is in Act 4. Hell, I walked all the way to the trap and I murdered them sums bitches. And then I just got the waypoint from someone else and we murdered Mephisto. But while wearing this Tarnhelm, boom, a Nagel Ring drops. And it now gives one mana per kill, very nice, in a high range of MF. Check it out, it ranges from 15 to 40 MF. It's absolute toad. I found this with another character. I found this with this character. Found these, found this with this character. Duriel dropped this, so I put two turns in it. Magic gloves, I probably found them in the freaking den of evil. And then I have a three fireball gnarled staff. I bought this in Act 2. And uh, this nice amulet, actually. I think I found this with my druid. But check this out. I found this as well in Act 3. In Act 3, I found a unique amulet right here. And this has been reworked some. It now gives a nice, faster hit recovery range. And uh, I found Nagel Ring in Act 3. Just, just from walking to the trap. All right. So now I have 81 MF in total. So here's what I've been doing. But check out my Merc. Look at how easy he kills these guys. This Merc is a hog. Check that out. He attacks fast as fuck. He does splash damage. He does lightning damage. See that? You won't believe what he's wearing, man. It does it does very little damage. I'm thinking of upping it to an exceptional item. But check it out, let me show you. Blood Thief, this is Toad. It gives life leech. But here's the thing, man. Now that Mercs in PD2 can wear uh, belts, gloves, and boots, you can get your life leech elsewhere, obviously. I have a life leech belt and stash that set one. Uh, that gives life and mental leech, and I'm going to give it to him once he's able to wear it at level 42, I believe. But of course, string of ears would be a great option, and then you don't have, then you're not forced to get life leech on your helm. Unless if you're really rich, you can get it on chains of honor or something. But other than that, you can also get it on. There's a few pairs of gloves that give life leech, correct? And I think uh, even the rares can give up to three percent. Is that right? But what gloves can give life leech? There's Drax, but I think they've been reworked some. Um, Hand of the Brock, those uh, old school leather gloves, they give three life, three mana. But yeah, you can get it in your belt, man. I think String of Ears is going to be a great Merc belt. Don't spread the word, all right? Because I really don't want to increase the value of those things. 
where everybody wants one, you know what I'm saying? So don't spread the word, but I think string of ears is gonna be an absolute toad uh, Merc belt because the thing is, uh, all Mercs, but Act 3 Mercs, of course, will take advantage of every attribute that String of Years has to offer. Uh, the uh, Act 3 Mercs, of course, won't take advantage of the uh, Life Leech, but they will take advantage of, like all the other Mercs, uh, the MDR on it and the physical damage reduction. Is that it? Nice stats, however. But yeah, if you're, if you're an Act 2 Merc, an Act 1 Merc, or an Act 5 Merc, they're going to take advantage of the Life Leech as well. So I think String of Years is going to be towed. But here's the thing. I've been hearing Wade on the street. Oh, here we are. Let's, let's see which one these are. Has two options, I think, a Wraths and uh, Arctic. So I've been hearing word on the street that Fire Sorks are Toad in PD2. And I'm looking forward to showing off this new skill. All right, I'm not there yet. She can use it at 24. But check this out. It's called combustion, okay? And it's synergized by your fireball, and your fireball is synergized by combustion. Uh, both are synergized as well by firebolt. And uh, it just, it's its a freaking ring of fireballs, all right? It's like a fireball nova, and I've seen Sorks using this, and it's so godly. Uh, let me know in the comments, does it have a cooldown? Uh, it doesn't seem to say there's a cooldown with it, but I don't know if you put one point into it, you'll find out there is. There might not be a cooldown. It might just be uh, expensive to use or something. But yeah, so this is gonna be a fire sork. And uh, there are more 85 areas now in PD2. And uh, you can go on the PD2 wiki website and uh, search them out. And you can even search them out by types of monsters in the areas and by their immunities. So you can find uh, areas that are 85 that have zero or like sometimes zero fire immunes in general where you could farm them. So that'll be told. So yeah, and I'm thinking about like, uh, you know, I'm gonna max fire mastery, I'm gonna max combustion, I'm gonna max fireball. Put a couple points into warmth, uh, one point into teleport. I didn't put one in static yet, I should probably do that. I'm thinking of what if you max thunderstorm and then put one in the synergy, in the mastery. How would that turn out? It looks like it has a longer duration and it has a nice uh, base damage of 1 to 100, uh, 32 seconds. So at level 20, I wonder what that would be. And it uh, casts pretty fast, I believe. And the more points, of course, the less the delay. So yeah, I'm curious, man. What do you guys have to say about that? Would it be told to max this shit and then put one into light mastery? So you can have your little thunderstorm thing going on and you could be a fire sword. You know, it's kind of what I want to try. But of course, you're going to have to be a high level in order to take advantage of that because you already have two, four, six, there's eight, there's 80 points right there to max your uh, fireball and combustion synergies. And then of course you want a couple in the warmth, I, I'm assume, unless, in fact, I'll probably be using uh, insight, all right? Because as we know, conviction barely, especially level 12 conviction, you get an infinity. And it breaks, you know, next to no fire immunes. It breaks some, but the vast majority who are fire immune, it doesn't break, as, to my memory. It, it breaks the little Doom Knights in uh, the Cast Sanctuary, I believe. But there are just a lot of fire immunes throughout the game where the level 12 conviction on Infinity, it just, it just ain't going to break their immunity. So I'd rather just skip that. But of course it helps because it pierces their resistance, which is really important. But uh, the thing is, in PD2, your fire mastery pierces their resistance. So, I mean, ideally, it'd be nice to have both, right? You could have one in your stash and pop it on your Merc, teleport around like crazy when you want to have Insight on, and then when you want to be a bit more deadly, uh, put the Infinity on them, you know? So having both will be ideal. Teleport, it's not like it was in a Path of Diablo where it takes like 5% of your mana. But it just uh, it reduces your damage for one second, so it doesn't last long. All right, and uh, I'm thinking one point will probably be sufficient in teleport. But check this out, okay? Watch the damage. 326 goes down, goes up. That's all it takes. See? So it's uh, it's it's not very impactful. You know, they just wanted to have somewhat of a nerf. To teleport, I believe, was the intention behind that. And I don't think that's that bad. 
But of course, you put more points into it, you know, it'll it'll decrease the uh, damage nerf that you receive after teleporting. I don't know about how much. Next level, 22. Maybe it's always 49% damage. But yeah, I'm fixing to level this women up. A lot of things have been nerfed, all right, and I'm I'm kind of down with that. How we don't like have to rush to get a stealth armor because stealth armor is shit now. It gives like 10 FCR and 10 run walk. You know, it's just shitty. So I'd rather just mess around and experiment with other items. You know, it gives you a reason to do that now. And uh, leaf staff is kind of shitty now. So you're not really forced to use Leaf Staff if you want to be optimal. I found uh, this cute little thing. But yeah, the staves, the actual staves are pretty nice. Can make staff wind wards? Is there, I don't think there was even a two, uh, uh, two socketed staff rune ward, is there? I don't think there is. But yeah, the staves in PD2 have been reworked. If you check out Meng Song's lesson, and I found one last ladder on Path of Diablo. I might have found two. I can't remember. I, I feel like I might have found two, man. Uh, one of which I think was in the Chaos Sanctuary. But unfortunately there, it was just a worthless piece of shit for the most part. However, in PD2, now it gives six to all skills. So that's more skills than you get from a Hodo and a Spirit Shield. You'll get five total with that. You get six with Meng Song's Lesson. And here are some other perks. Obviously, you could slam it, because it's not a rune word. You could slam it for the plus, an additional plus one to all skills. So you'll have seven skills on your staff. Or you could slam it for sockets and fill that freaking hog up with facets of an element of your choice. That would be absolute hog to do something like that. And here's the thing. It's also been reworked in that it now uh, pierces, I think it's 5 to 15% to all three of the primary elements, to cold, fire, and ice. So it, it rolls those with those ranges, negative 5 to negative 15%, uh, piercing the enemy resistance. So Meng Song would be absolute hog. Andal's Wisdom is okay. It gives 85% FCR now. It's pretty crazy. I think it used to only give 45. Let's see how well she can do Diablo now. The Merc gives open ones. Yeah, she... Oh! Oh, shit. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to go back there. I'm going to try to murder Satan. Maybe I'll put one point into static. Does that even... Does it have a, uh, a bottom end now? Weakens enemies by only 25%, so that's shitty. Right? Right? Is static shitty? Does that mean 25% per cast? I don't know what that means. I feel like it might have been nerfed, but I don't know. Uh, I'm going to find out. I'll be right... Well, I don't know if I'm going to find out. I'm kind of scared to put a point in there, but I'll be right back. What's up? My fat, slimy little toads. Ice boy here. So I actually dropped from the damn game, and I uh, had to make a new game and get to Diablo all over again. So that's exactly what I did. And I also added a point into static. So check this out. There was, uh, the server was actually down for about 15 fucking minutes. So I just had to wait before finishing this video. Ooh. I believe my Merc wears uh, that helm. Let's see what they do together. I think this set has actually been reamped. But check this out if I haven't showed you guys yet. <clears throat> this armor is what makes them pretty epic right now. A lot of lightning damage returned to enemies. And 1 to 30 lightning damage added to his attacks. Shitty belt, shitty gloves. I don't really know what this uh, two-piece does. Defense and life and attack rating. That's really nice, actually. Damn, that's a tough choice. Maybe I'll let him wear that for when I uh, attempt Satan. In fact, I'll give him these gloves. All right. So, let's try Satan. And I'm going to attempt to static his ass. 
I'm thinking that what it means by 25% is it's 25% per cast of their remaining life. So let's find out. Looks to be the case. Oh, you can only take them down to half life. So that really sucks. Yeah, that skills, that skills shitty. And folks like seem to praise Crescent Moon, but if you can only get their life down to half anyway with static, is Crescent Moon really that great of a weapon? They just praise it for being like an economical weapon that's effective, but why, why is that uh, static field even worth a damn? That's surprising, you know, how's that worth a fuck? If in even normal mode, you can only get them down to half life. So what does it look like in Nightmare or Hell mode? Let me know in the comments below. Oh shit. I wonder if uh, if my fireball has a greater range than his, uh, his lightning effect. This is really actually kicking his ass. Look at that. Yeah, the fireball does good damage when I can actually hit him. Yeah, this is Toad. He's dead. Couple goodies. Unfortunately, no uniques. Shitty gloves. Not bad, but it doesn't have the two sockets, and I need those two sockets. Well, I want that mana per kill is the thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's that. That's my Sork. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about my Sork. And I intend to uh, level her up some. And I'll be showing off this Immolation skill. All right, once I get to that, if you guys will become a patron, appreciate my patrons. Thank you guys for supporting Fat Boy as you do. Very much so pleases my fat fuck ass that I can sit here and play Diablo and make some monies while doing it. On that note, I need to go and do something active. Go on the fucking bike for 15 fucking minutes or something of that sort. Because I've been pretty damn lazy today. So if you dogs will like the video, more videos to come on Diablo. Become a patron if you want, and stay tuned for my video tomorrow at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. May the Creator bless ye and keep ye. Peace be with ye.